Renowned for its cultural heritage, bustling cities, and stunning scenery, Japan's Kansai region offers a multitude of captivating experiences. And with the Japan Kansai Wide Area Pass, you have the opportunity to explore all these renowned destinations and many others. As avid travelers, many of us are eager to gather essential information before purchasing a pass for exploring Japan's vast railway network. Here are some key topics we would love to find out about the JR Kansai Wide Area Pass. Extent of coverage, last covered stations, local lines inclusion, and seat reservation limit. Let's start with the map. With the Japan Kansai Wide Area Pass, you have the opportunity to explore not only the key cities of Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe, Nara, and Himeji, but also venture further to discover other major cities such as Atsu, Wakayama, Okayama, Takamatsu, and more. This pass opens up a wide range of destinations for you to experience the rich cultural and historical wonders, scenic landscapes, and diverse attractions that the Kansai region has to offer. The Sanyo Shinkansen provides the exclusive Shinkansen service, connecting passengers to six designated stations. For destinations beyond these stations, travelers are required to pay the actual fare for their journey. The JR West Line is the primary railway network available within this region, encompassing a vast number of stations for exploration. The Kansai Wide Pass also grants access to local lines, such as the Kyoto Tango Railway Line, Wakayama Electric Railway Line, and the Chizu Express Line. Moreover, the West JR Bus Service offers a unique advantage by reaching attractions that are not accessible by train routes. With this bus route, travelers can explore and discover hidden gems beyond the conventional railway network. When it comes to the Shinkansen, it's important to note that it don't cover the Takedo Shinkansen that bring you from Shinosaka to Kyoto and all the way to Tokyo. It can only be utilized for reserved and non-reserved seats on the Sanyo Shinkansen line, specifically from Shinosaka to Okayama Station only. Once you travel past the Okayama Station, you will need to pay the full fare. Additionally, if you're interested in a unique experience, you can also hop on the Hello Kitty Shinkansen, but please be aware that its service is limited to travel between Shinosaka and Okayama Station. Surprisingly, the pass include the fastest Nozomi train and also the Mizuo train that travel between Shinosaka and Okayama Station only. Remember, the Kansai Wide Area Pass only offer unlimited travel for reserved and non-reserved seats on ordinary cars and not on green cars, unless you want to pay the additional separate tickets. The JR lines encompass extensive areas and connect various cities, facilitating travel from Osaka to Kinosaki Onsen, Tatori, Okayama, Takamatsu, and Shirahama. When traveling on express trains such as the Haruka, which connects Kansai Airport to Shinosaka and Kyoto, or other trains like the Thunderbird, Super Hakuto, and Super Inaba, it's important to remember that you can only use the non-reserved seats without a prior reservation. If you wish to secure a reserved seat, it is essential to make the reservation in advance before boarding. It is also crucial for travelers to be mindful of the final stations covered by the pass before additional fares apply. Here are a few stations that require special attention before considering further travel beyond them. It's essential to keep in mind that certain limited express trains on various lines, operated by JR West Railway Company, require reserved seating. The Kuroshio, Kunatori, Kinosaki, Hashida Date, Maizuru, Hamakaze, Biwako, and Rakuraku Harima limited express trains fall under this category. Non-reserved seating is not available on these trains. Therefore, it's essential to plan ahead and reserve your seats before boarding to ensure a comfortable and hassle-free journey. Remember, attempting to board without a reservation may incur a separate limited express reserved seat fee. So, don't forget to secure your seats in advance. The Wakayama Electric Railway provides a delightful journey to Kishi Station, a renowned tourist spot, known for its stationmaster, Natama, an adorable calico cat. Additionally, the railway operates for captivating themed trains. First is the Ichigo, Strawberry Train. This train features a charming interior with natural wood flooring, benches, service counters, and tables, providing a cozy and inviting atmosphere. Second is the Tamaden, Tama Train. 
Known as the cutest train in the world, the Tamaden is adorned with 101 Tama illustrations on its exterior. Let the adorable Tama welcome you aboard as you embark on your journey. Next, the Umebashi train. Inspired by Wakayama's famous plums, the Umebashi train showcases a vibrant red exterior, resembling dried Umebashi plums. Inside, you'll find Japanese-style paper screens, bamboo blinds, and a ceiling adorned with beautiful wooden elements. Experience the luxury and visual appeal of this unique Japanese-style train. Lastly, the Tama Densha Museum. This revamped toy train boasts a playful and delightful atmosphere, with various cat station master themes adorning the train's interior and exterior. A notable feature of this train's development is the use of karakuri, a form of mechanical puppetry, to create movement inside the train. Offering a unique experience in the world of wood, mechanism, and playfulness. But, before your adventure begins, be sure to check the train schedule for a smooth and enjoyable ride. As each themed train has their own schedule. If you're seeking a truly unique train experience, don't miss the opportunity to ride the sightseeing trains along the Kyoto Tango Railway Line. These trains include the Tango Akamatsu Train, Tango Ahomatsu Train, and Tango Koromatsu Trains. Each of the Tango trains is themed around the symbol of a monohashidate, the majestic pine tree. They connect a monohashidate, one of Japan's three views, with Nishimaizuru, offering breathtaking views of the Nagu Coast and Uragawa Bridge. As you travel, you can enjoy the superb sea views from the train. Inside the Tango Akamatsu train, you'll find a variety of seating options, including sofa seats and counter seats, all adorned with wooden interiors. This allows you to relax and appreciate the scenery while on board. It's a truly immersive experience. The Tango Ahomatsu train operates on a longer route, taking you from Nishimaizuru to Toyuka. On the other hand, the Tango Koromatsu train offers a special dining experience featuring local ingredients. To embark on this amazing culinary journey, advance reservation is required. It's important to note that the Kansai Wide Pass only covers the basic fare, that mean you can board the Tango Ahomatsu train with just the Kansai Wide Area Pass. But an additional boarding ticket of 550 yen is required to ride the Akamatsu train. Regarding the Tango Koromatsu train, it's important to note that the pass does not cover boarding the train, as it is considered a restaurant. However, you have the option to make a reservation and purchase the course meals separately at a designated price. So, if you're interested in experiencing the unique dining atmosphere on the Tango Koromatsu train, be sure to make your reservation in advance and enjoy a delightful culinary journey. Embark on a journey along the Chizu Express Line and discover the diverse destinations it offers. Among these stops, there is a particular station that shouldn't be missed by Japan swordsmanship enthusiasts. And that is the Miyamoto Musashi Station. Located in Mimasaka City, this station holds great significance as it commemorates the memory of Miyamoto Musashi, a legendary Japanese swordsman. In 1911, a monument was built here to honor Musashi, as it was confirmed to be his birthplace. Visiting Miyamoto Musashi Station provides a unique opportunity to pay homage to this esteemed figure and delve into the world of Japanese swordsmanship. Immerse yourself in the rich history and legacy of Musashi as you explore this remarkable destination along the Chizu Express Line. The Kansai Wide Pass offers coverage for three bus lines. The Kyoto Bus Line, the Jacko Bus Line, and the Inpuku Bus Line, making it easier for travelers to explore various attractions. If you're planning to visit popular sites such as the Kyoto Golden Pavilion and the Ryoanji Temple, the Kyoto Bus Line has got you covered. This convenient bus service will take you to a multitude of attractions, including Kyoto Station, Kyoto Aquarium, Kyoto Railway Museum, Nijo Castle, Kitano Tenmengu Shrine, Kinkakuji Temple, Ryoanji Temple, Ninnaji Temple, Jingoji Temple, and Kozanji Temple. For history enthusiasts and temple lovers, the Jacko Bus Line is your gateway to an array of captivating attractions. You can explore destinations like Kumagawajuku Historic Post Town, Mayatsuji Temple, featuring its stunning Hondo Main Hall, and three-tiered pagoda which designated as national treasures, and Wakasakoka Bungee Temple, Mantakuji Temple, Mayarakuji Temple, Inshoji Temple, and Jinguji Temple. 
Lastly, the Inpuku bus line will take you to various stations and attractions, including the picturesque Kotodaki waterfalls, the serene Kute Jinja Shrine, and the fascinating Shizu Shishinyudo Limestone Cave Park. With the Inpuku bus line, you can easily access these captivating destinations and enjoy their unique offerings. Overall, here's a chart for better understanding on when the Kansai White Area Pass is usable for various type of trains and when to reserve a seat or obtain additional tickets before boarding the trains. This chart also clearly show that this pass only allow travelers to use reserved and non-reserved seat on the ordinary cars, nothing else, unless you are willing to pay additional tickets or charges. So, remember to keep this limit in mind when planning your trips. As indicated on the website, the Kansai White Area Pass offer unlimited seat reservations on ordinary seat. But, there is a small clause, you can only reserve from the website or ticket machine until your six times. Upon reaching your seventh times, you will need to reserve from the ticket office. And a side note, for Japan Rail Pass, the seat reservation is not really unlimited, but limit to not more than 110 trains. So is it worth it? To provide a helpful reference, let's consider five popular attractions that you can visit within a five-day time frame while stationed at Shinosaka area. Kansai Airport to Shinosaka. Shinosaka to Kyoto. Shinosaka to Nara. Shinosaka to Himeji. Shinosaka to Shinkobe. Total to 17,860 yen. By just incorporating the journey from the airport to Shinosaka, as well as visits to Kyoto and Nara, you will have already utilized a significant portion of the Kansai Wide Pass's value, accounting for more than half of its cost. Additionally, there are numerous noteworthy attractions to explore, such as Osaka Castle, the vibrant Dotunbori area in Osaka, the renowned Universal Studios, and a multitude of captivating destinations in Kyoto, where you're likely to spend a considerable amount of time. Where to buy the Kansai Wide Area Pass? Ordering a Kansai Wide Area Pass online is the most convenient option, available through the JR West Online Train Reservation Platform or the Overseas Authorized Sales Offices. Alternatively, you can obtain the pass from the travel agency in Japan, but remember to bring your passport, as the sales staff will require it for verification before issuing the rail pass. Remember, not the JR West sales counter at train stations, as they had stopped selling it since end October. Discounts and Benefits If you're looking to explore beyond the popular destinations of Osaka and Kyoto, be delighted to know that there are numerous discounts and benefits available in other prefectures by simply presenting your passport or JR West Rail Pass, offering you a wide range of opportunities to discover new places and experiences. With these benefits, travelers who plan to visit Osaka, Kyoto, and the surrounding prefectures can enjoy a fantastic deal within the five-day duration of the pass. Depending on your itinerary, if you strategically combine it with other regional passes, it may even prove to be a more cost-effective option than the nationwide Japan Rail Pass. Click here for more videos regarding essential information about your trip to Japan. Thank you for staying to the end.